Karibu tena double updates popote pale ulipo mtazamaji wangu. Mimi na Tumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa. Niite Mr. Double J na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa. Kuna kitu ambacho kinaitwa Nadko. <laughs> hii Nadko imefanya Ruto amekimbia kabisa kwenda ku zile uh, servers za IBC and uh, kama kuna sehemu naweza mkakosa sana vibaya kabisa na Ruto sasa hivi ni umwanzishie stories za kuangalia kuchunguza vizuri ni kitu kipi ambacho kilifanyika kwenye uchaguzi wa mwaka juzi mwaka na mbili kwa sababu kinachoendelea sasa hivi ni kwamba kwa wale ambao wajui Nadco ni hiyo uh, the National Dialogue Committee report hiyo ni Unakumbuka kipindi kile tunazungumzia swala la mazungumzo ambayo yalikuwa yanaendelea kati ya Kalonzo, Sivi, Akina Kimani Chumwa, Tim Azimio na uh, Tim Kenya Kwanza. Alafu pia na watu wengine pia walikuwa nafasi ya kuenda na kufikisha vitu ambavyo walikuwa na hisi ni vizuri uh, ki uh, vizungumzia. You, you all remember. So alizungumza baadaye kuna vitu fulani ambavyo vilipelekwa pale kwamba huyu akubali uh, Raila akubali William Samoei Ruto akubali ili mambo yaende square kabisa yani watu wameelewana sasa kama ni cha kufanyika ifanyike faster faster kama, kama ni cha kupitia kwenye bunge ipitie au kama ni you know kitu kama hiko but uh, finally ilikuwa ni <coughs> vitu ambavyo wao walielewana but uh, kwenye vitu hii hapa cha kwanza amba tunataka tuangalie ni hii high court inasemaje uh, kuhusu Nadco kwa sababu kuna mtu ni kama amepeleka malalamishi na mtu huyu anasema hawezi akakubali uh, vitu hivi ambavyo vilizungumziwa na Ruto amepelekewa na Sura ila amepelekewa vifanyike unanipata so i think nitakupa tu ripoti jinsi ilivyo so a high court has suspended the implement, uh, implementation of the national dialogue committee report that's nadco following a case filed challenging the same so kiangalia vizuri hapa the sitting uh, in the kiambu court noted that uh, the report will be on hold until the hearing and determination of the case filed by activist michael muchemi so <laughs> michael muchemi ndo activist but ukiangalia vitu ambavyo anavililia huko uh, kwenye high court tacheka sana sana shangaa activist quiz kwani ina maana ngapi i thought the only activist ambaye namjua ni yule senator wa wapi huko uh, senator wa Busia wa Mtata huyo ndo activist akina boni eh naamini activist ni mtu ambaye pia anapambana sana hivi maisha ya watu wa kawaida una unanielewa kitu ambacho anajibu kusema ikae vizuri so nataka tusome kitu ambacho anaki <coughs> awakilisha hapa High Court Michael Muchemi. So according to the petition na huyu sasa Michael the submission of the dialogue report threatens the country's rule of law citing section of the final report. Eh, kuna vitu vingine ambavyo yeye anahisi. Mm. Eh, kama activist though nina maswali mengi sana hapo kwenye activist wake. Eh, kuna maswali mengi sana hapo. So yeye anasema kuna namna fulani mazungumzo na final kabisa ambayo yalipelekwa uh, kwa Raila na uh, William Samoutu ni kama hawajazingatia sheria kwa hiyo itabidi simame mpaka yani atasikilizwa na koti yenyewe tena iamue ni kitu kipi ambacho kitafanyika next so muchemi father argue that a portion of the report calling for an audit of the 2022 general election results falls outside the constitutional framework as it cannot overturn the decision made by the supreme court <laughs> <laughs> so Muchemi uh, the first thing ambayo imefanyika hapa ni kujaribu kuzuia uh, swala la audit ya uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022. Alafu pia ukiangalia lakini kwenye hiyo nadko sisi tulikata kutoka mwanzo jamani. Acheni kuzungumza haya mazungumzo haya yatazungushwa zungushwa hapa alafu vitu vitakuwa vimeisha. Asa kama sasa hivi I don't think kama Raila tena anaweza akarudi kwanza kuangalia sio audit ya 2022. Anaweza akaizungumzia yes lakini I don't think kama ni kitu kingine ambacho pia anaweza kaanza sio kuangalia kiundani sio afuatilie ili kuaje 2022. Yaani tulishapambana sana. Yaani when it comes to swala la mwaka 2022 tulishapambana sana kuiangalia. Mpaka sasa hivi ukiniambia mimi sasa hawe inabidi tuiangalie tena. Ah bro, yaani utakuwa umeturudisha yani nyuma sana. Ah watu wamesha mess. Yaani hata leo ikitokea jamani tume angalia uchaguzi na tumeangalia nani alishinda tena kuanza kuipanga hii serikali mpya ah upya naomba ndugu yangu tutakuwa ni 
itakuwa ni process ndefu sana. So hapa huu mchemi anasema jamani um, kufanya audit. Unanisikiliza kufanya audit ya matokeo ya uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 ni sawa na kuvunja sheria, ni, ni sawa na kukataa alichokisema Martha Kome kule Supreme Court. So number one, ni hiyo audit. Kwa nini wanakataa hiyo audit by the way? It's not something ambayo ni mbaya. At the end of the day ni wananchi wamekaa chini. I mean ni viongozi ni viongozi wa wananchi wamekaa chini wakaangalia wakaona ah, tulipofikia sasa hivi inabidi tu fanye nini? Tuangalie ni sehemu gani na gani haikuenda vizuri turekebishe. There is no problem with that by the way. Yaani hakuna kitu kibaya hapo kwenye kusikilizana. Sio kama unanisikiliza, sio kama unanielewa. There is no problem. Yaani sisi tumekaa chini. Tunasikilizana au hata tunaelewana kwamba jamani tufanyeni hivi tufanyeni vile. There is no problem. Si kama tunaelewana. But jamaa amekataa. So tuendelee. The petition also highlighted that the Supreme Court has the authority to ad- adjudicate disp- disputes and decide elections. So, okay. <laughs> Uh, Supreme Court akili yake na mata kome au anasema gani mpi ambayo inatengenezwa ndo kabisa ile ile yake na mata kome anyway the ruling issued by lady justice dora chipkong suspended the implementation, uh, implementation of the report currently under consideration by parliament cha ajabu ni hata hii report bado iko yani inakuwa considered <laughs> eh, na bunge hmm? it prohibited the second and third respondent from convening any uh, session to discuss approve adopt or appoint a panel to execute chapter 2 of the report asa hii kitu ukiangalia vizuri ina process ndefu ina kwa mwenyewe unajiuliza itatusaidiaje hata ukiangalia vizuri itatusaidiaje kwa sababu the only thing tulikuwa tuna expect kwenye hiyo kitu ni audit ya 2022 in fact that's the most important thing watu wanakuwa nataka kusikia kwa sababu mimi ukiniambia tushukishe sio gharama ya maisha and I'm like wewe Ruto mgani sasa hivi atashukisha gharama ya maisha na hata akishukisha taishukisha time nyingine sio eti kwa sababu imesemekana kwenye mazungumzo tukitoa hizo mbili ni gani wewe unaona kama wanaweza wakaizungumzia swala la sijui nani afai kutoka kwenye chama gani kwenda kwenye chama gani hiyo wafanye hivyo wanavyotaka huko wana siasa lakini sisi kama wananchi jamani sisi tunataka gharama ya maisha sisi hata wakiruka ruka huko hiyo ni yao kama wana siasa sisi hatutakiwi kuingililia na hata tukiingilia sisi tunatakiwa tu kudecide yani yani tu, muda ukifika hiyo 2027 ndo tuna, tunaamua kwamba wewe tulikupeleka na chama fulani so hiyo watu wachie 2027 hiyo ya wanasiasa sio kuruka ruka hiyo wacha mtu aruke aende sema ambapo anataka lakini sisi tu siku itafika tutaamua kwamba sasa hapa vipi ujamaa ameruka mpaka huku eh ameruka mpaka huku tutafanyaje sasa Unaelewa ninachokizungumzia? Eh sawa wameruka sasa hivi tunawasubiri 2027. So hiyo watu achie sisi tu nayo. Lakini sasa hivi haitusaidia hata wakizungumzia. Haitatusaidia ukweli ndio huo. Haitatusaidia. Though kuna kauchungu fulani you know huyu alikuwa wetu akakimbia, tulimsaidia, kaona ajiunge kule. Of course kuna kauchungu fulani. Tuwezi tukazuia hiyo. Unanielewa? Eh kuna uchungu fulani. Uh, but again If this application is not treated as extremely urgent and uh, certified as such the underlying constitutional concerns raised in the pleading below may remain addressed the court documents read okay so and uh, bado reporting endelea kwamba upon considering the grounds on the face of the application together with the affidavit sworn in it uh, it is here by order that the application be and uh, is here by certified as urgent and that the application be and uh, is here by allow this means that the process that began in parliament to implement the report stops for with excuse up so the nadcor committee chaired by national assembly majority kimani chungu and waipa party leader kalonzo msioka presented the report to both president ruto and uh, um, uh, azimio leader railo dingo march 8 uh, the report has encountered significant obstacles in the past including the fail of the DAP Kenya Party leader Eugene Omalwa a member of the committee to sign the final draft according to Omalwa the committee failed to address the audit of the 2023 election process the restru- um, restru- restructuring of the IBC and the cost of living crisis that is currently biting Kenyans hiyo nani hiyo mtu akizungumzia swala la the cost of living hiyo toeni nje you know 
hiyo toi ni nje the reconstructing of uh, the IBC i don't think if they'll do anything kwa IBC i don't think na hii serikali i don't think kama they'll do anything uh, tunge kweli no kama unataka same ruta hizi akakubali hivyo hivyo iende ni uh, ni same kama ngapi ile tuko na hiyo IBC tuko na Supreme Court IBC Supreme Court na system uh, when i talk about system i am um, i meant when i talked about the system i meant um, the kina Camargo guys and the the, the, the whole system hii ambao wanatumia na i mean wanatumia kule IBC but as you are aware i had already publicly declined to sign the uh, the said report after a, fiso, a serious disagreement arose over the failure to address the fundamental issues of the de- reduction of the cost of living i also declined to accept any payment uh, from the said process or malo not in the letter to the parliament clerks so i, I think up, uh, at least alielewa hii um Eugene kwa sababu Eugene kwa upande wake alikuja kusema <laughs> for me itakuwa vigumu sana nikubaliane na history So mimi ukiniambia hujazungumzia cost of living, hujazungumzia IBC, hujazungumzia audit ya 2022, there is nothing tena kwenye hiyo. And a very big shout out by the way to Eugene. Though uh, Kalonzo anataka kuambiwa kitu kimoja, he is wasting a lot of time. By the way, Kalonzo is really wasting a lot of time. As per now anatakiwa kuwa ameshapambana sana. Swala la kusiju kufuatana fuatana huko na kimani chuma sio kwa wana nini wanataka kusign. Atafanya huko kuna nia mdharau bure. Anaitwa nani? Rigiji Ikijia ataanza kumdharau amwambie alikuja status juu kukula sio atamwambia vitu vya ajabu ajabu nyie mnamjua we get the shago you, you all know this person so mimi kitu ambacho kinanipa wasiwasi ni huu ni Kalonzo candidate anasema candidate bado anafuatilie by the way wacha nataka nimwambie unajua Raila hawezi akamwambia hivi lakini wacha mimi nimwambie unajua Raila hata ana haja na history na ndiko sio nini kwa sababu there is nothing anapata kwenye hiyo nani Now you guys are talking about oh naitwaje um kuna kitu hapa nimeona watu wanapiga piga kelele naitwa office of the street opposition i don't know sijui ni, ni Kalonzo anaitaka the other day i listened to Kalonzo sio alikuwa wapi akisema i'm ready to i'm ready to lead your opposition sio nini bro so someone is still talking about leading opposition we are not interested in sio nani we already have Rail Odinga there in, in case of anything who are yupo na huwa anatupambania sana hata kama sometimes atufanikiwi. Hiyo ajiwa sio kitu ambacho anatakiwa kupambania. Sasa yeye anataka nini? Anataka kuwa opposition ndio au anataka kuna nafasi 2027. So yeye mwenyewe anatakiwa kuchagua kitu kimoja. Kama atafuata mwendo watu wachukue 2027 ama anataka kuwa opposition. Opposition atakuwa the whole this year next year the other years back after 2020 after 30 2032 30, atakuwa opposition atakuwa mpaka siku atazeka kabisa but mwambie tu kweli at the end of the day let's take along the truth number one nadko haitamsaidia chochote haimuongezei hata ubingwa umaarufu nini hakuna na kitu kisimdanganyi kwamba akipewa hiyo nafasi ya yes, sijui official opposition sio nini nini sasa kuna namna fulani atakuwa ata, ata bingwa Abana, no, I don't think. Yeye yeah, sasa hivi anatakiwa kufocus jamani nenda wapi na mpinga vipi? Yaani anatakiwa yani ni asubuhi ni asubuhi mchana. Utu amelemewa, uto nini? Na si asiifanye hivyo ki, you know, ki soft, yuko soft sana. Kwa upande wangu ukiniuliza nitakwambia Kalonzo is very very soft. Yeah, mimi ndio kitu ambacho naweza nikasema. And by the way, let me tell you one thing, eh? Nilikuwa najaribu kuangalia, nimeizungumzia 2027 nikafikiria kitu. <coughs> um <coughs> nilikuwa nazungumzia formula. The only formula ambayo Ruto anasalia nayo 2027. Ndio kitu ambacho nilikuwa nataka nizungumzie. I don't know, I don't know kama naweza nikaizungumzia kwenye video ambayo inafuata kwa sababu kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo nataka nizungumzie ani kizungumzia lazima niwe na clips um, ambazo zinakuonyesha kitu ambacho nazungumzia Ruto ana only four formulas za 2027 na ni formulas ambazo nyie wenyewe blanda moja ambayo mtafanya ni kwa siu ni kama muoni but the only formula ambazo wako nazo 274 za ku convince na ku 
pata ushindi 2027 i promise i think tunatakiwa kuiangalia kwenye video ambayo inafuata so uh, nataka nimalizie video hii hapa but uh, watu wanatakiwa kujua <coughs> kwamba swala la nago ni swala la kupoteza muda tulizungumzia mwanzo tukaikataa sana sisi ambao tulikuwa tunakataa uh, mazungumzo haya kwa sababu number one ilirudisha kabisa nguvu ya azimio chini tuongeni ukweli hii kitu ilirudisha nguvu ya azimio chini hata ukiangalia vizuri squeeze hiyo hiyo na hata Kalonzo anataka hiyo nafasi ya huo nani uh, uh, official position leader but hiyo anatakiwa ku stress vitu wewe oh, unamjua Raila vizuri yani anapokuwa yani wewe oh, mwenyewe una feel he is around kabisa yani na akiongea inatingika na watu wanasikiliza ni nini inaendelea na yani inakuwa ndi kabisa ndio story kubwa amekuwa ki press kabisa ndio point yangu but kwa Kalonzo you can see namna vitu vilivyokuwa baridi sana so Nadko uh, ime, imepoteza muda nyingi sana the same same Nadko imefanya uh, Kenya kwanza wakapoa kabisa yani imefanya yani wakaonekana washindi kwenye vitu fulani fulani kwa sababu kukubali sio office of the sio position. Hiyo ni hiyo nafasi yako tu hiyo ni, ni role ambayo wao mnacheza lakini wamewatengenezea tu jina. Ni jina tu wamewatengenezea there is no problem when it comes to money they will provide. That's what I'm sure of. Hata wakikwambia wao oh, tutakuwa tuna fund ndio mfanye hasa ni nini mnataka kufanya in a professional way. Ni <laughs> nini mtakuwa mnafanya in a professional way ndugu yangu? Sini nini you guys you are in opposition and wao kitu ambacho wanafanya ni wanawapea pesa ni deni kutu kutuongelelea of which watakuwa wamewapunguza nguvu kama bado mtakuwa mnaongea na wao ndo wanawapea pesa ya kuongelelea vibaya then hata nyewe wenyewe mnaweza mkaona namna mmechanganyikiwa so you were supposed to ask yourself if we are not talking about the IBC we are not imagine paka leo atujui hata IBC ni kina nani Baka leo tujia hata chama na tujia hata leo yani mtu hata yani ah, gavana leo hata akikufa god forbid nani anafanya re-election bila hiyo timu ama ndo ikifanyika ndo sasa yeye president oh hita nani pale eh tuelewane kidogo si nini inatakiwa kwa nalo kiona bado haipo ujua kuna vitu vingi sana vinapangwa hapa na Ruto atakuja kulipuka tu one day pam bana mimi nina press jioni state house na nishazungumza na nishateua team ndio jopo kabisa ambalo litakuwa linasimamia uh, swala hilo. Unanipata? Ni ndio hiyo nimeteua jopo na itakuja very soon. So, watu wasubiri tu waone jamani. Nadhani nadanganya. Very soon atakuja kufanya press up status status akiwaambia jamani mimi sasa nishaleta watu. So ndio kitu ambacho kinaendelea sasa hivi. Watu na I think I think opposition inatakiwa kabisa ku uh, focus na vitu muhimu ambavyo Uh, vitawasaidia kusonga mbele na kitu kisiwadanganye eti sasa kuna namna fulani yani sijui Ronald kwa hata hata yani yani hata hiyo Ronald kwa yenyewe kupita hata bunge kuna vitu vingine kupita hata bunge wewe uone walituambia kuna vitu vingine lazima vipitie yani mshaongea mshakubaliana na ila ashapelekewa report Ruto ashapelekewa report bado sijui nafaa kupitia nani na kimba ni chungwa they all there it means there are some other things watakuwa wana drop Unaelewa? Kuna there are other things uh, watakuwa na drop. And mimi I don't know. Si itakuwaje kwaje but um, that's it. Eh yeah. ndo mambo yalivyo sasa hivi. Alikuwa imeshakataliwa na High Court na imekataliwa kwa sababu kuna jamaa amepeleka malalamishi na malalamishi yake ni kwamba jamani uh, kuna vitu hapa viko ndani na ukweli ni kwamba hatuwezi tukakubali kwa sababu e, hamna ruhusa kabisa ya kwenda kusimamisha kitu ambacho wameamua kina matakome but their focus their, fo, their, main, their main focus ni hapo hapo kwenye ku ku audit uh-huh. kuangalia ni nini ipo uh, kwenye uchaguzi wa mwaka juzi uh, mwaka 2022 and that's all hakuna kitu kingine kinaleta mvutano hapo Wajana hata na IBC. Yaani when it comes to hiyo hao hapo mnaweza mkakosana na Ruto vibaya sana. Anyways, acha nikomee hapo uniambie maoni yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini kikubwa zaidi. 
ni hakikisha kwamba una subscribe kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata taifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye